Well, my spindle has finally arrived uh, from China, um, and uh, it was nicely packed in this uh, wooden box. Looks like 3 8 inch plywood. I'm sure it's metric of some sort, but 3 8 inch or so, and then had steel straps on it, and it was in, in actually pretty pristine condition for having come across come across the ocean. Uh, it took about three weeks from the time that I uh, paid for it until it actually finally arrived here in the U.S., and um, here is the spindle. So what it was a wooden box and then it had styrofoam and then styrofoam blocks packing everything together. So I got both the spindle. Here you can look, it's a 4.2 kilowatt, 110 millimeter BT30 um, spindle. And then I got the VFD to go with it, which is, uh, and the operation is up to uh, 1000 Hertz. And um, so, I have 220 volts, so the breaker is going to be pretty big. Um, for the, this uh, particular VFD is actually 5.5 kilowatt, and so it specifies a 63 amp uh, capacity or breaker in in the user manual. But I'm only using a 4.2 kilowatt spindle. Goes up to 24,000 RPM, and if you wanted to look at the back, it's got a bunch of connections here. It's got water in and out, and then it has four different air connections, which all have to be controlled to clamp and unclamp the ATC. Then you have, of course, the power power cable, and you have sensors. And the sensors include a thermocouple, and then a PNP-style clamp and uh, unclamp sensor to indicate if, it's, if the thing is clamped or not. Anyway, it looks like I'm going to have to build a, a microcontroller setup to deal with the different configurations to make sure that it never operates when it shouldn't and, of course, doesn't unclamp when it shouldn't. Anyway, um, I also got a, uh, a pump to go with it. That was cheap, but it seemed easy at the time to just get one. I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to use it, unfortunately, because... I'm planning on using a car radiator for my uh, air, for my water cooler. Anyway, so that is what we got in the mail, which is pretty cool. Uh, just for anybody who wants to buy stuff out of China, be, uh, be aware that um, they are charging import tax into the United States. The total for mine came to about 30% total. So that was kind of a bummer, kind of a surprise, even though I should have known. Anyway, thanks.